Okay, um, welcome everybody to the last video conference that we had for uh, this course. Um, well, I've been seeing that Mr. Jimenez is connected, me, Mr. Portillo, Mr. Pastran, Ms. Aguilar, and Mr. Castro. Uh, good evening to everybody. Uh, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening uh, sir. Okay. Um, tell me, how do you feel tonight? How do you feel uh, in the last video conference that you had? Well, I, I will listen to you because I want to um, I want to know your experience during this um, during this course. Uh, I would like to know what are things that you like, what are things that you didn't like, uh, what are things that we need to improve, or uh, what are the things that uh, well you remember are the best uh, experience during this uh, process of learning. Uh, so, who's going to start? Uh, well, Mr. Jimenez, tell me, what do you think about it? What is your opinion? What are you, your suggestions? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, my experience uh, is uh, very hard or difficult. Really? Um, no, they speak English very well. Um, the change is, uh, is uh, terrible. <laughs> terrible, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Como no, por no, no poder hablar, o digamos, tal vez a la hora de, de expresarse, queda corto uno con lo que quiere decir, o sea, no, no, no se le viene a la mente uno lo que quiere hablar. Entonces, okay. yo, bueno, este, sentí digamos la segunda fase un poco más difícil por, por, la, por la parte porque como no veníamos así eh, yo sé estoy consciente de que algunos también tienen un poco más de conocimiento en cambio uno vamos queriendo despegar poco a poco entonces este ha sido un poco duro <risa> ok ok sir. Um, bien este pues muchas gracias por, por, por pues sus, sus palabras, sus comentarios. Este, y pues eh, realmente este, quiero escucharlos a ustedes, cómo, cómo se sienten, eh, cuáles son sus, sus opiniones al respecto, eh, con la idea pues, de mejorar el proceso de, de, de enseñanza. That's what I want. Okay? Uh, let's see, Mr. Pastrán. Um, yeah, well, this this was my first level with English Corporativo. So I um wait. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is that I imagine something different, but you know I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a feedback because those topics I have already uh, seen them before, but it's okay. And I don't know, maybe we need more uh, practice to speak to, to someone and, you know, uh, be less shy, but everything is pretty good, I guess, so. Okay, thank you, sir, for your words. Yes, and that's the thing that I was trying to do because um, one of my purposes is that you can practice your English. Uh, I don't like when uh, uh, if I'm just talking, talking, talking and, and you don't have the uh, possibility or the opportunities to express yourself because in English, 
one of the best things for learning is practice uh, and practicing your English. Because uh, if you don't practice, uh, you can't um, you can uh, um, uh, get a very skills in, in in speaking. Okay. Also, uh, maybe you can maybe if I'm speaking, you can get a uh, 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 very uh, so higher uh, skills in in listening. But uh, as Mr. Jimenez said, um, it can be a little bit difficult while expressing our ideas because in our mind it, we want to express a lot of things okay but we don't find the words that in the, the way that we want to to say it okay uh let me see mr portillo uh, welcome welcome oh, good day <laughs> good evening sir okay tell me um what's been your experience in this course uh, do you have well, any suggestions? Uh, uh, do you have something that likes to you? Well, tell me. Being sincere, uh, I think you are a very good professor because I I changed my schedule from eight to nine because uh, I changed my my job. So oh. I started to to learn with another professor. Uh, the last one before you and I I was uh, very disappointed because with that professor because uh, he ignored me so uh, you are different because you always uh, ask hey Jorge uh, tell me about and uh, you uh, make to practice us uh -huh. and we talk a, a little bit more that with the, another professor so I, I i am i am improving myself and i want to learn more because i, I know a little bit of english because i i, I watch a, a lot of series or movies but i don't know the times the 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 meaning of uh, certain words and that's it okay thank you sir thanks for your words and uh well uh, i can suggest to everybody here uh, to do uh, what mr jorge is saying because watching movies and listening music in english is it it's a uh, a great, um, a, well, those are great activities for practicing. A, and you are in, in the right path, Mr. Portillo. So, um, and keep working, keep working, because English, learning English is, is a process, okay? A, if you want to learn meaning of, of some words, a, you can uh, look for it on, on, in, in, on the internet or maybe by the context that you are uh, watching your series or movies, you can get the meaning there. So th those are good strategies for, for learning English. Very good. Uh, let me see, uh, Mr. Callejas. Yes, yes. Good evening. Well, evening. in my case, it is the four module with with all here, and it it has been a good experience with with my learning, and I would like to get better with my speaking. And the the class the class in general are very good. Yes, okay. Okay, I think sir. so. Okay, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for your words. Thanks to you, sir. Uh, let me see, Mr. Castro. Okay, what can you tell us uh, uh, about the course in general? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Um, I don't know, I feel it's so hard because um, in my case, the, the previous professors are are very um, I don't know how do you say um, como, 
o más didáctico tal vez. No sé cómo se dice eso en inglés, but um, for example, uh, my first levels in inglés corporativo, I, I, I has a, a professor eh, que usaba muchos juegos para interactuar con nosotros, juegos de, de, de palabras, por, ej por ejemplo. Eh, y digamos que se tenía otra dinámica para lograr hacer que, que interactuáramos porque obviamente es más complicado el, el intentar pronunciar algo o formular una oración eh, entonces digamos utilizaban alguna otra herramienta eh, como para, para que lográramos esa interacción eh, He tenido profesores que han sido como uh, muy planos, por ejemplo. Uh, ya tengo seis meses de estar con inglés corporativo. He tenido varios profesores. Este, y, y pues no sé, siento, siento como que no tuvieron un, una, un lineamiento, un estándar o algo así. O sea, son como muy diferentes los profesores. Y a veces se sienten unos más dinámicos, que tienen mejor didáctica y otros que son como muy flat, eh, muy, muy, um, no quisiera usar la palabra aburrido, pero es como que no, no te lograran sacar ¿no? la conversación. Eh, y hay otros que se enfocan en repetir y repetir y pues no sé, por ahí sí. puede que eso también se torne aburrido, ¿no? Y... Eh, pues eso ya eh, me pareció genial. Por ejemplo, la forma en, en usar quotes uh, is, is very nice. Eso sí me, me gustó mucho porque eh, es una forma de, de hacernos como pensar un poco en, en utilizar el idioma y reflexionar sobre una, una oración. Eso, eso fue, fue genial. Re, ninguno lo ha hecho. Ningún profesor ha hecho eso. Y pues... Eh, I try to... Uh, I don't know, avanzar. Ok, ok, sir. Uh, well, uh, keep working, keep working, because uh, you will find, um, well, different professors, different uh, teachers with uh, a lot of methodologies. And, and the thing is that uh, no, none of them have the, the same methodology uh, of I have, or, or, or maybe I don't have the same methodologies that other has, uh, or, that, or another professor has, uh, but uh, you can learn uh, something for, uh, or some things uh, uh, for each professor that you have during these courses. Okay, you can take the, the best of, of each of them. And uh, the idea is that you can, uh, uh, you can practice and also that you can uh, get a higher level in English, okay? Well, okay. let me see uh, Mr. Escobar. Hi. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, My experience in this um, course, I can tell in Spanish. I express it more fluid in Spanish. <laughs> okay. okay. Eh, mi experiencia con esas clases pues ha sido muy aprovechada, la verdad, porque bueno, yo todavía voy a la universidad y tengo clases de inglés, entonces me, me ha ayudado a comprender mucho mucho mejor algunas cosas. También, pues. <clears throat> eh, Créanme con un gran compromiso estar de 9 a 10, porque bueno, aparte de eso tengo trabajos, como muchos otros aquí, eh, de universidad y tal, y la verdad, no me arrepiento, las clases han sido súper dinámicas, súper, ¿cómo decirlo?, eh, súper bien explicadas, y, y me han gustado, de verdad. Ok, ok, thanks for your words, sir. Uh, let me see who else, uh, Miss Villalta.
to ask you about the platform, about the class in, in, in English corporativo, right? Eh, usted está preguntando acerca de eso, es que como entré, acabo de entrar. Ah, okay, de cómo okay. nos, la experiencia que hemos tenido. Yes, what, sí. what's been ah, your okay. experience during the video classes and, and also the, 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 uh, okay. all the instructions I've been given to you? Okay, uh, well, let me tell you, my experience is very well, very good, because I learned about the grammar, speed, listening, and also I, I was talking with others in the platform, and I, <laughs> well, I'll be honest, um, for example, I, I am teaching class a kids in Zoom too, but according the experience that I got before, because I started the in English corporative uh, for five, no, for four months, for four months. But I learned so much, and I am trying to put my experience with my kids, uh, with another children that I know. And uh, <laughs> this is a reason because you. Uh, you have seen in back, back in background in my teacher uh, a song contest the about kids because uh, uh, well I consider that in the future I I will get um, my best effort in this opportunity and uh, well I can say that. I learned so much about it. Okay. And thank you for giving me the opportunity too. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, keep working. Uh, that's good that you can be replaying, uh, replying, I mean, um, uh, your knowledge with others. And uh, believe me, that will be a great experience for you. And then also you will be practicing. Uh, and that practice will will help you a lot to, uh, to learn a lot of words. Um, what you can do is watch videos on the internet, mostly if you are teaching uh, uh, children. So you can uh, watch a lot of videos there and, and then you can reply that information that you can find there. Uh, there are amazing videos for videos, I mean, for um, uh, children and, and th those are great, okay? Just look on yes. YouTube there and you will find a lot of them. Uh, yes, let me see. Now. Uh, yes, I know, but however, uh, I am teaching, <laughs> I am teaching class every Friday, for example, tomorrow, tomorrow in the afternoon, uh, uh, I, I will give the third class for, for them, because uh, I say, I say, but I, I need to practice my English, I need to uh, get the opportunity, I can demonstrate my abilities, so I can lose my, uh, sh uh, how do you say, pena? Uh, shyness. Uh, sh my shy, because I need to be confident, uh, because uh, I can I can demonstrate, I can get the opportunity that, that English Corporativo uh, gave me every day during the week. So okay, that. means okay. Well, uh, thanks for your words. Let me see who else means. Um, uh, Miss Rivera, okay, what can you tell us about? Buenas noches, al igual que mis compañeros, porque cada módulo nos deja una experiencia. Y sí, verdad, creo que esta hora es bien producido en cuanto a interactuar. En, es el único el momento que nosotros, más que todo, nos entramos de lleno más a querer aprender en inglés, ¿verdad? Puede ser que en el día de día escuchemos música o veamos películas, pero es el momento en el cual nosotros hemos reservado para aprender. Por tanto, entonces, yo creo que sí, todo el esfuerzo tiene su recompensa y gracias por su apoyo en cuanto a, a encaminarnos en, en esta fase de aprendizaje. Eso sería mi opinión. Gracias por mucho. Ok, thank you, Miss. Uh, thanks for your words. Let me see. Is there someone that is missing uh, that I haven't asked? Miss Jordan? 
do you already participate? Are you talking to me, teacher? Sorry, I was <laughs> having trouble. Okay, now I was asking, I was asking to everybody about the experience oh. that you have in this course. Oh, well, I personally, I think this is a, a great opportunity for everyone. Uh, sometimes we are kind of busy or tired of the day or I don't know, we sometimes don't feel so good, but the important thing is that we are here learning and we have the opportunity to do it. I think the classes are, are really good because we can practice, we can learn, we can remember some things that maybe we already know, knew. Um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, I think. And I also think that you, the teachers, do a great job giving your time to us. And I don't know, I, I appreciate this this opportunity and as you say I tell everyone to uh, give their best and work hard for to reach our goal okay thank you miss thanks for your words too uh, let me see who is missing uh, Mr. Kanjura Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. Good evening. How do Hello. you feel today? Uh, I feel a little tired because little tired. Uh, I have working? been working. Yeah, yes, I have been working very hard during the day, traveling, and that is uh, uh, at the end of the day is is um, tired. Okay, okay. I was asking, I was asking to everybody. Uh, yeah, that is because uh, I am late in the class. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, I was asking to everybody uh, about uh, uh, your experience here in the course. Uh, if, if you had something to, to uh, tell me, like a suggestions, uh, or if you want to say something that you like or something that you don't like, or you didn't like the, about this uh, video conference that I've been teaching to you, um, well, this is the opportunity. Uh, so I'm opening this space for you to express uh, those experiences that you uh, had. Uh, okay. My opinion about the, the course is uh, at the end of the course, uh, you started to uh, to to give us the class and for me it was uh, very well because uh, you were using the english a lot and that is the the objective i think uh, because uh, sometimes you have the skill to speak maybe but uh, uh, the for in listening, you are weak. Uh, some people, no everybody. And you gave us the opportunity to listen uh, during the whole class, uh, almost the whole class, uh, to speak in English. And that is good for me. Yeah, and congratulations for your effort. Thank you. Okay, sir, thanks for your words. Uh, well, uh, the thing is that uh, all of you are in intermediate and, and it's supposed that in intermediate level you can manage conversations and you can uh, uh, at least get the main meaning of, of some sentences uh, well, in general or, or, to, or to get the idea. Uh, 
if you were in, in if you were beginners, maybe it could be a little bit, well, in my case, right? and so uh, if you were uh, in, in as, if you were beginners, maybe it could be a little bit uh, like Spanish or uh, uh, could be more gamifications during the, the, the classes. Uh, I think that in intermediate level, I have to give you the opportunity to express yourself to speak in English because that's one of the main purposes of the of the courses because uh, you can you can practice it's no it's not good if you are just listening or if you are solving activities because at the end you are going to be master just in in, in writing and just in, in in listening but what about speaking okay will have out uh, so that's why i've been uh, trying to uh, get this interaction that we have well right now we're practicing english uh, many of you did in Spanish, that's good. And that's good that you can express in that way, very good. Uh, but also here you have the opportunity to, to use your English and don't be afraid. And sometimes if you can, um, if you have a lot of ideas that you want to express, no, just uh, try to practice, try to practice, try to say the things that you know, try to say, try to use the words that you that you know. And, and in that way you will be, uh, um, Gary's most vocabulary and, and, and maybe next time you will uh, use different words and so that's working that, in that way, okay? Uh, uh, congratulations for all of you because uh, all of you have a good level of English. All, all of you uh, can understand English. All of you can uh, solve the exercise that I've been uh, proposing for all of you and, uh, and you did it well. Uh, that's amazing because you are a good group and you like to work, okay? Um, I think that you are going to achieve all the goals that you set for your life and all the goals that you set for this uh, learning process. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to start with the last, uh, last session of this uh, video class because uh, we're going to see the exercises of the, fi of the final exam that we have uh, on the platform. And I will share my screen right now because um, there I can explain a better way. Just give me a second because I was, I was uh, working with a different group and I have the web page in a different level. Uh, let me see, you are, sorry, you are intermediate. Yes, this one. Very good. So uh, I'm sharing this right now. Here and here we have the final exam. Okay, um, we're going to be making a review of, of some of the of the um, um, topics that you have on the platform. First of all, you have the section A. It says choose the words. Okay, in this part, when it says choose the word, uh, the instruction said uh, choose the correct word or phrase to complete it. Um, um, in the sentence number one, we have three options, okay? And it says, if you walk to work, you, and you have three different uh, options. Uh, you will have to, you won't have to, and you may have to, okay? Pay for the bus. Um, this part, uh, I want to listen to you. Uh, what is this sentence referring to? Uh, or what is this sentence, or what is the topic that refers to this sentence? Uh, do you remember that? Because we're going to, to do a review. Okay, any of you remember the topic of this uh, sentence? One have to. One have to, okay. One have to, uh, but uh, that's the answer for it. I'm asking you about the topic that refers to this uh, sentence, to this, um, uh, 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 well, a exercise. It is about the future. Future, okay, future, that's true. It's future. In this sentence, we are we are expressing future. Uh, I hear someone else. Clauses, clauses is if. 
clauses. Future conditional. Okay, the conditional, yes. In this case, we have a conditional. And this is called first conditional. In this part, we have a simple present tense add with a, um, a future uh, simple. And I remember, I don't know if you check that information on, on, the, on the platform uh, there, uh, that we have to um, think about possibilities that may or not happen in the, in, in the future, okay? In this case, if we say, if you want to work, you won't have to pay for the bus. Okay, but it's in this sentence, um, if you notice, this could be a, a possibility a, of that action. Okay, but what, what happened if I don't want to walk? Okay, that's mean I have to pay the bus because I'm going to, um, I'm going to take uh, the bus. Uh, the same happened for it. For this, uh, you have the, the exercise here uh, where you have to identify where we use simple present and where we use a uh, future simple, okay? Um, well, uh, we won't answer this because that's your work. That's your, your uh, those are your exercise. What I want to do is just make a review. If you haven't completed yet, you can do it. Uh, uh, checking the, uh, the information that you have on the dashboard. I mean, on the course that you have there in the dashboard uh, and complete it, okay? So um, then in the section number B, you have a listening. This listening, we're going to listen this, okay? I will share to you the audio because we're going to do it. And then we're going to discuss about this audio because we have uh, here uh, some exercises uh, that give us the opportunity to uh, speak. Uh, please pay attention to it. Pay attention to it. Let me know if you can't, uh, I mean, if you cannot listen, okay? Let me know. If you, if you can listen, so uh, pay attention to it. Units 9 to 10 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... <laughs> so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad. I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm. 
a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, very good. Uh, there we have the audio, and, and you're going to help me with this exercise because we're going to be discussing, not answering this, just discussing, okay? Uh, Sylvia, what is the possible answer for it? The third one. The third one is happy with her laptop. Okay, that one is happy with her laptop. Okay, uh, tell me any experience that you have. Um, maybe you can remember the typewriter, uh, maybe in the high school could be. Do you remember that? Have you ever a uh, type or use uh, a typewriter? No, I would just sell the top writer to uh, a chatarrero. No. no, what I mean is if you if you uh, have no. used the typewriter before, maybe in, in the high school or I don't know, in any place. No. Never. No, teacher. I just yes, sell teacher. it. Es una máquina de escribir. Yes. I have one. <laughs> you have one? Oh, nice. Yeah. That's great. Yes, I don't remember yeah. now <laughs> because um, some time ago there were a lot of people who were very skilled with uh, the typewriter. They used to do it uh, so quickly. And when I was learning that, it was some years ago, I was in high school because in, in the high school that I, I was attending, they uh, used to learn uh, to use those typewriters. Uh, but I was like just doing one by one letter. I remember that I I didn't I couldn't uh, uh, master that that thing. But uh, let's see. What about the the second one? It says according to Harry, if Mar Marsha stays in her apartment, what could be the possible answer here? Okay. The second one. The second one. She'll have more time to say for a house. Okay. Uh, have you ever lived in a apartment? No. 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 I think that here in El Salvador, there are no those things. Well, it, it is not common. We have permits, but they, there is no common to stay in an apartment. Um, but in the experience, I, I, I don't know. I, I've never been there in, in the apartment. But I think that they, those are a little bit small uh, and you don't have a lot of space. But in the case of uh, these two uh, uh, char uh, characters that we have here, it says that if she stays there in her apartment, uh, she will have more time uh, to save for a house. Okay, that means that she can uh, buy it in a, a own house. And the number three, Jim's dad. What is the possible answer there? Too. Okay, the second one. Uh, Jim's dad likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. You know what is a flight attendant? 
Pero pozo. Pero más. Ok, ok, ok. Yes, there are the people who are in, in, in an airplane, ok? So, uh, what do you think about that? Uh, have you ever think about uh, working on it? Me? You? Me teacher? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't no. like it or your... No, I don't like it. Because... Okay, tell us why. Uh, well, I, I think that is dangerous because the idea, uh, if you are in a plane all the day, during four years, during four months, you don't see your family, uh, but it's very difficult because uh, you, you, uh, you stay out from your house. Uh, I think that's no, it's not my dream working there. <laughs> in, <laughs> okay. Like a, you don't idealize working there, okay? <laughs> okay, very, very good. Uh, is there any uh, different opinion? Or what? Do you like it? You don't like it? Let's see. Yes, yeah, yes. it's more probably it's, to have a, a car accident. Okay. Uh, uh, through the airplane accident. It's different. It's most probably. Oh, it's probably. Okay, it's probably. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, that's true. It's probably to get, yes, that's true. That what you're saying is true because it is uh, more probable that we have an accident in our car that uh, have an accident there in an airplane. That's what I think. Or you think the opposite, mister? Yeah, I I like the idea. Work with flight attendant. Okay, okay, very good. That's nice, Sarah. Uh, well, let's see the number. Oh, no, 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 no. I was listening to someone else, but I didn't listen at all. Uh, who was the other participant who was talking about this? I didn't see. I didn't saw the name. Uh, I mean, I didn't see the name. Um, hello? No, yo, I was saying that it's a great opportunity to, to know many places and new people. Yes, that's true, yeah. because you, you can stay different yeah. countries. If you work yeah. as a flight attendant, maybe you can stay around three days, two days in, in a different country. It, mostly yeah. if, you, if the, the, the airline that you are working for it visit different uh, uh, places. Okay, it's it's a good opportunity to to travel around the world. Yes, almost the <laughs> and and also pay for everything. Yes, exactly, and, and also uh, without paying anything because they pay to you. <laughs> That's yes, good. Yes, exactly. It's good. <laughs> okay, let's see the number four, Mac. What is the possible answer here? Wants to get a job at a national park. Number three. Okay, Number wants, three. To get a, a, wants to get a job in national park. Okay, very good. And what about you? Do you want to get a, a job in, in a national park? If you want it, what kind of job do you, do you um, idealize? Yeah, maybe I really like the nature. Okay, and what kind of what kind of job do you do you want? If you were working in national park, what a kind of job job do you want? Uh, tourist guide. Okay, tourist guide. Okay, nice. That's good. Uh, someone else who wants to uh, participate in it in this exercise. I love nature, but I don't think I, that kind of job, I would enjoy it. Okay, okay. I think it will be interesting, but um, maybe a little bit bored, boring. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, thank you, miss. Um, well, that, that, that could be true. 
because it could be uh, uh, like the same all the time. Okay, just attending people, guiding them, things like that. Yeah. Let's see the next exercise, the section C. Okay, it says complete the conversation. Uh, the instruction that we have here, it says complete the conversation, check the correct responses. Uh, the number one, um, it says, I'm not very good at typing. What could be possible um, uh, answer here? Can you tell me which one? Well, I don't. Well, I don't. The first one. The first okay. one. Number one. The first one. Oh, I am. I can listen to you. Do you mean the first one, second one, or third one? Yes, third one. Third one, really, I don't mind, okay? Uh, we, we don't have anything to comment, okay? We're going to uh, just skip this exercise, but we're going to check the, um, the well, the answer that you have. Uh, I like working with computers. What could be possible uh, answer here? The third one. The third one. Okay. Okay. What about, let's see, we can, we can comment something here. Do you like work with computers or do you like it uh, work more in, 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 uh, well, different, in a different place? That's done, done uh, we don't manipulate computers. I like work with computers, but I think the eyes suffer a lot. Okay, yes, that's true, yes. Okay, uh, what about the others? Is I anyone? Prefer, I prefer the cell phones or tablet. You prefer that? Ah, okay, okay, that's good. So you mean that you can idealize a job working with cell phones or Tablets. Okay, very good. Let's see the number three. It says, I don't mind driving to work every day. Okay, uh, what do you think about that? It says, I don't Neither mind driving do to work every day. Uh huh. Neither do I. Neither do I. Ah, uh, okay. But in your case, Miss, your, your personal opinion. Do you um do you mind driving at work every day? Yes or not? No, because I can driving. Okay, okay. Uh, is anyone here who likes driving? Teacher. Uh, Tell me, Miss. Well, I think that uh, for me, uh, in my opinion, uh, okay. driving to work every day, you are uh, exposed to exponent. How do you say exponent? Pause. You are exposed uh, uh, in different situations, danger situation every day, because uh, I think that it, for me, it's better to work from home. <laughs> it's easy, you are very comfortable, and you are in in home, but uh, you don't get pandemic by now, for example. <laughs> but I think that is very difficult. Well, people uh, are working every day, they take a bus. Is in this moment, the situation is the situation is so sad, I think. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Miss. Uh, well, it could be, yes, that could be a possibility. Uh, some people's likes. Uh, work from home, they feel more comfortable uh, about it. And uh, but there are others that like to drive to work, and they 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 uh, prefer uh, to be in an office, to be in a different place just for working, and they like to travel. Uh, there are others that know maybe for the uh, for the traffic. They suffer every day, or I mean, every morning, 
Uh, I seen uh, traffic uh, there in San Salvador that it's so heavy. Uh, and sometimes you can get late if you work or if you go to work through uh, or well using your own car. Uh, but in places that there is like no traffic uh, at all, it could be good. It's uh, an easy way to go to your to your job. Yes, uh, of course. Huh? Yes, of course, because uh, the problem in this situation, the problem is that uh, the houses are very small. And, but uh, when people are working from house, uh, listening all the sounds around, but uh, uh, the pandemic has been uh, changed the different situation because uh, if you get the opportunity to work from home, if you don't have space in your home, it's very, uh, the situation is, is no good, I think, but maybe in the future we can, get in different situation or used to live with this situation pandemic or leave or the pandemic has gone. Okay, okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank no. you. Yes. Um, um, well, if we want to work uh, from home, there are a lot of, uh, well, well, I mean, just some things that you have to manage in your, in your house, because first of all, you need to space and own space for working. Uh, to avoid noises, uh, maybe you can can uh, create uh, an, an, an space or a small office uh, where you can work and, and ask your family uh, or relatives that live in the same house uh, to um, wait a moment while we, we are working or while uh, you are you are working a specific thing okay uh, let's continue with the, the with the following exercise is set choose additives uh, choose additives instructions say choose the correct word um, and the first one uh, Fiona carefully plans her day so she never late for appointment she likes to be what do you think about this? Credit punctual, forgetful. Punctual. Punctual. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, Yeri tries to help people and never say no when someone asks him for a favor. That's mean being generous. Generous. Okay. Very good. Amy uh, and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everyone thinks they are? Bad temper. Bad temper. Okay, very good. Those are your answers. And let's see the last one, matching. Uh, well, let's see. I like to work as an English teacher. Because, 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 what? Because, I'm because I have an excellent memory. Excellent memory. Like meeting, like meeting people. people. Okay, very good. Um, number two, I wouldn't want to be uh, a flight attendant. Uh -huh. I don't like to travel. Because I don't like to travel. And the number three, I will make a good waiter. Because? Because I have an excellent memory and I like meeting people. You like, uh, because I have an excellent memory and I like meeting people. Okay. Very good. Uh, number four. I could never become a doctor. Because, because I'm too disorganized, so. I can stand hospitals. Okay, very good. I can never become a doctor because I'm too disorganized and can stand hospital. Very good. Thank, thank you, sir. Uh, well, that's been all. That's the end of this uh, of this exercise. Um, I, I, as I said before, I won't send it because that's your work. That's your 
uh, your opportunity to practice there. We are just checking uh, some of the answers that you think uh, could be or could be uh, set for it. I have some, uh, um, let me see, someone send something to the chat. It's a good evening. Uh, oh, okay, okay, got it. Um, let's see, guys, uh, I will stop this because uh, we already finished the course. That's been all for tonight. Uh, well, as I said at the beginning, it's been a pleasure for me to be working with you guys. Uh, you all have a good level of English. You all have, a, a well, worked so hard for finishing this course. And I, 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 what I can say is keep working, keep working because you are in the right path, you are uh, doing well. And well, if you want to set some uh, objectives for the future and you want to um, uh, really, if you really want to learn English, so please uh, in, in, in try to uh, get the best from these uh, courses. You can do it. Um, and what I can say is blessings for all of you. Uh, maybe in the future I can be working with you again. I don't know, could be. Um, well, if you want to add something, this is the opportunity. If not, uh, I will end the, the video class, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, thanks to you. Thank, thanks to all of you guys because you are, have been very patient uh, with me and and also you had been very kind uh, while, while we've been uh, uh, learning. Something that I like from this group is because you are, you are very participative and uh, you like to express your ideas and also you like to, uh, you want to uh, practice your English. That that's a good um, um, feature of this of this course. Uh, Miss Villal, Miss Villata, you want to say? Sí, yo quería decir algo. Bueno, lo voy a decir en español. Porque ya veo que me trabo, verdad, hablar hablar inglés. Porque sí me pongo nerviosa, pero voy a romper ese. Bueno, mire, yo pues quiero dar primero quiero darle las gracias a usted porque a ver, la verdad es que aprender inglés cuesta, no es fácil y para todo, ¿verdad? Quizás o sea, algunos tenemos diferentes habilidades en el idioma y, y ahí vamos, pues, ¿verdad? Porque, este, pero sí necesitamos, ¿verdad? Que así que nos enseñen, pues, y, y yo creo que usted es una buena herramienta y, 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 y que bueno, pues, que nos haga hablar, porque así vamos a, a poder romper los miedos y, y vamos a aprender un poquito más, ¿verdad? Porque esa es la idea. Entonces esperamos pues que si el lunes comenzamos las clases, pues que sea usted siempre nuestro profesor, en mi caso, ¿verdad? porque no estoy aprendiendo español, sino que inglés, entonces tengo que aprender. Entonces, aunque no entienda, yo me tengo que rebuscar. Entonces, así es la idea, pero gracias por su esfuerzo también. Y gracias a Inglés Corporativo, porque pues sí, nos está ayudando en este caso. Yes, no. Thank you, Miss. Thanks for your words. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Portillo, do you want to say something? Because you have your... Sí, o sea que el, el lunes no vamos a seguir juntos. Uh, I don't know, sir, because uh, the course finished uh, tonight. And maybe you will have a different uh, t-shirt. But I don't know. It's a possibility. Because no, uh, usually they change uh, professors. Yes, they, they, they do, they do. That's what uh, I think. Bueno, igual, este, lo, lo vamos a solicitar ahí para que sigamos. Si, si, es, que, <laughs> si es que sigue. Okay, okay, sir. Thanks. Uh, Pero le agradezco mucho por, 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 por el apoyo, el ánimo que nos da y a seguir adelante. Esperemos que verlo el, el, el día que continuemos. <laughs> okay, sir. Well, uh, I hope to. I hope to. Uh, let's see. Someone else?
Nobody? Uh, only thank you for your time. Yes. Okay, thanks to you, sir. Thanks to you. You are the ones who, who, who did this because uh, you are the ones who are always practicing in the platform and you are giving uh, the whole effort. I'm just here just for guide you, but the hard work, uh, it's it's uh, you who, who are uh, on it, okay? You are the, the ones who always are uh, trying to learn. Okay, uh, well, I think that nobody is going to say something else. Uh, I have to say goodbye to everybody. And if I see you the next course, uh, I think that could be a good opportunity to learn more things and, and we can practice more English. Bye-bye, uh, guys. Blessing for all of you. And, and, and also, uh, keep working English, okay? That's the idea. Keep working English. Uh, you have a lot of strategies. You, you know a lot of strategies for learning English. Watch videos, watch uh, series, listen to music. Uh, you have a, an infinity uh, strategies for learning English. Bye-bye. Blessings and good uh, night. Have a nice night, okay? See you. Uh, also, if you have something, uh, if you want to, if you want me to help you with something, please don't hesitate contact me in the WhatsApp group. I will be answering your doubts. If you want to contact me in a specific exercise or things like that, I will be able for you. Don't worry, you can contact me through uh, WhatsApp, okay? See you, bye. Teacher. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, good night. Bye, Titi. <laughs> Bye, Miss. Blessings. Thank you so much. I sent to you.